All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about RAR files. What are they? Well, they're basically interchangeable with a number of other file formats out there. They're a compressed archive that is designed to save space or make it easier to move stuff around on the web. And all you got to do to open one, if you've got it, is probably to have WinRAR or an equivalent program available. For today's example, I'll show you um, WinRAR, which is made by RAR Lab, which the trial version is free, or you could use 7-zip. It opens everything, but it only creates zip files and 7-zip files. So when you've got one of those programs installed, you can find a RAR file. I've got one here, the tutorial sample, and you can just go down here to extract to a folder of the same name as the RAR file, and that's what I'll use. And then it shows up up here with all of these different sample files that I created to show you, you know, that it compresses both pictures and text and video, anything you put into it, it'll come right back out. And then if you want to create one, all you have to do is, again, have the program installed, select all these items and go to add to a tutorial file of the same name as the file that everything's sitting in right now. Or you can just get it to add to archive and you can change around some of the more advanced settings to tell it what you want to do. You can put things like a password on it. You can have a bunch of RAR files that can only be opened if you have all of them in the same folder so that you can compress a larger amount of data in a more manageable file size, all that stuff. But I don't really need to do that. So I'll just say, yeah, make a tutorial folder, let's say tutorial example thingy, click OK, and then it'll compress everything into this little RAR file, and then we can open it again. You can also open it with 7-zip. And that's kind of the ins and outs of what you can do using WinRAR and where to go grab it. I'll have the links from those two websites in the video description in case you want to grab those. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.